Well, good evening, everyone. And I'm in the Loch Lomond and Trossachs area. I'm here for the Lone Tree. But this, this is the after party. Oh my God, I got here late because of a few uh, teething problems with the van that needed fixing and the sky kicked off. Ah, check these images out. Wow, as I arrived at Millerucky Bay, the promise of a great sunset was already evident. Thankfully, I was parked very close by as it quickly developed into this amazing spectacle of colour. And as I moved my way around the tree, it began to fade to darkness until finally there was just a tinge of red on what looked like a neon blue sky. Personally, I don't think I've ever seen, let alone photographed, such intense blues in the skies on a sunset. Wow, such a beautiful sight to witness. So you can just see a fraction left of the afterglow. And man, did this light up red. Oh, stunning red. And the blues, wow, they were phenomenal out of this world. Oh man, that was amazing. Right, I'll catch up with you guys in Lockhart. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> what an amazing sunset we had last night. Fantastic. Uh, I will have shown you the images by now. Unfortunately, I didn't really do any vlogging because of the time I got there, but that was out of this world. Phenomenal. The blues and the oranges were just out of this world. This morning, well, not quite so good, but <laughs> I am in a place that promises to be as beautiful as that sky was, if my guidebook's anything to go by. I'm at Lockhart. So I make my way through the majestic pines of the woodland, heading towards the Lochan only to find that, as beautiful as the scenery is, I'm walking through what is effectively manicured private land. So not a good start, but I'm hopeful the day shoot can still be recovered. Having done a bit of a little scoot, a little recce, I think I need to go to the other end of the lake. Sorry, Lochan. That's all very pretty, very nice, but it is all people's gardens and the boat houses don't have any boats in them, no reeds, they're all dead. So, yeah, we go to the other end of the Lochan <laughs> and there is a cheeky little lay-by stop on the way, apparently, which gives a good view. So we'll check that out. Let's get back to the van. Right, let's go. Well, it seems that the highs of the previous evening are not going to be repeated. But if you think that every outing I make reaps such a harvest, then I can assure you that they don't. The rewards of landscape photography often come through perseverance and an open mind and adapting to the environment around you. But nothing is guaranteed. Well, I believe this is the lay-by stop, but I'd like to be on the other side of the lake. <laughs> Uh, let's have a quick recce. We'll jump out and have a look. Hmm. We can hear is the birds. Hey. I think that's private land over there. So I don't think I can go around that way. This is a bit of a dangerous spot to be trying to take a photo over a wall, to be honest. Hmm. Well, you got beautiful snow-capped mountain in the background, but that's obscured by the headland of trees. You have the leading in fence, which would be great if I could get the other side. <laughs> that might actually open up the mountain a bit and give me the leading in fence. 
and of course on the other side you've got the rocky outcrops and the and the trees but again it's the wrong time of year lesson learned absolute lesson learned so this doesn't work right let's go to the other end of the lock and and we'll see a very 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 pretty place Okay, so my mojo is flagging and I'm struggling to get the creative juices flowing. So I head off to the other end of the lake in search of inspiration and I get to make a new friend along the way. Okay, so you've got to check this out. I think the wife's going to have a, oh no, moment. look at that. Ready? Hello, Mr. Piggy. Hello. He's having a good route. Hello. Nom, nom, nom. What you found? <laughs> what you found? Wow, you've got some big tusks on you, haven't you? Hey? Big chompers. Would you like some apple? Some apple? What's this? Mr. Piggy. Biggie. He's clearly found something he likes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I finally found somewhere with a little bit more promise. We're actually at the lakeside, as you can see. And there's a few features. So there's one that's in the guidebook I've got, which is a kind of jetty looking thing, sticking out into the water, but uh, it looks like it's isolated in the water. So we'll grab that, but I'd like to get something a little different as well. So let's have a look around. While well, I'm clutching at straws a bit, I think after last night with its full on sunset glory, I'm struggling today. The light's flat. It's not great. I've ended up taking some photos of these reeds close up. I don't think that's much cop. Oh, the anti-climax of the day after. Still. I could be out there having fun like these guys are on their motorboats. It's doing nothing for the reflections on this lake though. I think I'm gonna to default to that jetty shot. See if I can get some inspiration going. I did see a sign for duck eggs though on the corner. Ha. <laughs> I think I'll be getting some of them because I do love a duck egg. Well, to say I'm struggling today is a bit of an understatement. But uh, I'm working with what I got. So the big problem I got is there's a big area of deforestation over on that side where they've uh, stripped the land for logging. So I'm trying to utilize the water for the reflection. Got to watch out for the highlights in the sky, but the reflection's looking good. So let's go with that then. Well, it's not that bad. I've certainly taken a lot worse, but I think it's time to change tactics and call it a day for today. We'll try in the morning, maybe in the woods, but first, Something to lift my spirits. Okay, so I think I've salvaged the day. Check these bad boys out. Ta-da! We got duck egg. Oh, I love duck egg, really rich. And we got blues and we got whites. Oh yes, we got choices, but... <laughs> La creme de la creme. 
We got goose egg. Look at the size of that. <laughs> it's ginormous. Oh. Right. Poached goose egg on, I think I've got cheesy baps. <laughs> ah, right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't normally do cooking in my videos, but I've decided that because I've got ha, 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 a great big goose egg, I should do something nice with it. So I thought I'd let you in on what I do in my van cooking wise. Generally, it's the same crap every day. I'll be quite honest, cereal in the morning, usually some sort of bap, ham and cheese, apple and a banana, something like that. And for tea, don't know, could be a ready meal, could be anything. But today we have something special. So right, let's get cooking. And today I'm gonna to be cooking Eggs Benedict. I went to the local co-op and have Crusty loaf, tiger loaf. Nice. So we're going to require two slices of said tiger loaf. And I don't have a bread knife. So my carving knife will have to do. This stuff is so good. It's crunchy. It's crispy and it tastes yummy, yummy. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, let's have another bit. Let's use that bit. We love that bit for me as I'm cooking. I don't care if I squidge that one. Yeah, that worked well. Wah, 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 wah. Right. So, we also have our rather large goose egg. We have some breaded ham. And sus de hollandaise. I love you now. That's our ingredients. Prepped. Nice. Okay, that bread's too good. That's too nice. Stage two. Ridge monkey. Flame burner. We need to toss the bread. <laughs> now this thing goes from uh, cold to hot in about quarter of a second then burns after about half a second so let's see what happens oh, whilst we're at it <laughs> so good now we wait for the burning to occur Oop. told you Stay. Right, whilst we're waiting for that to burn properly, I'll prep the water. No, ah, smoking. do one of these very handy it's a silicone thingy that means you can uh, put hot surfaces on it right boil the water it's getting a bit smoky in here isn't it some in the back though should get a little bit of ventilation now. Salt. Okay. Uh, 
I'm a bit worried about cracking this because I don't want to split the yolk, but it feels like it's going to be quite tough to crack. Get what we get. Right, so in the meantime, let's prep the ham. La la la. La la la. Uh, have a little bit more. Because it likes it. A bit for me. Ham prepped. Right, that can go back in the fridge. Right. Go wait for the water to boil now. 15 minutes later. Come on, water, boil. Boil, water, boil. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Good job, ham don't go cold when it's already cold ham, isn't it? You want to. Oh. Now, we do have a little bit of a problem. I don't have any way of getting it out of the water. I did have, and still have, these things. Poachies. Poachies. Last time I tried them though, it seeped out and it just about held a chicken egg. Poachy poach, egg. It's not gonna fit. Right, old school way it is. But, I need to find some way to actually take it out of the water. How am I gonna do that? So in my arsenal, I've got one of them. Didn't think this through. Just in case I can use them as a Maybe, you never know. All right, here we go then. We got boiling water. Right, it's time to do the cracking. And I'm gonna need somewhere to put the shell. So that, that cloth will do me. Stop the sides getting all mucky. Right, you ready? Well, it's quite hard. Ooh. Why won't it open? Okay, it won't open. I don't want shell everywhere. Not in a poached egg. It's getting hot now. And it's not, it's not making a messy mess. Normally they make a messy mess. Just gently teasing so we don't stick to the bottom. Oh, look at that. How is that boys and girls, eh? So I prepped the hollandaise by opening the jar. That's a tablespoon. <laughs> the yolk's bigger than the tablespoon. <sighs> Some heft, heft. Some weight in that bad boy. Oh, it's raining. I need to shut the doors. That rain dripping in everywhere. Oh, see, it's starting to get a little bit hard done on the on the back. So, little flip, not too long, then we're done. Well, I reckon that's about it, boys and girls. Okay, let's put that aside a second. Turn that off.
Right, here's the hard bit. I'm figuring it's a double spooner. Oh no! Oh no! It's gone all down the side, it's all over the floor, half me eggs on the floor. Oh, it's a good job it's so big. All that yumminess. It's all down the sideboard. All right. That stops it stinking in the van. Back to the cooking. And for the pièce de résistance, hollandaise sauce. A little drizzle. Eggs Benedict. Well, good morning. And I figured, I think it's about time I tried to salvage this shoot. What haven't I done? It's such a beautiful area. I've got to make something from it. So I thought, why not go back to that woodland? It's such a pretty place. So, today, early morning start. Sun's just, just rising. And already, I'm spotting stuff. Look at these. Well, there is something truly magical about the woodlands first thing in the morning. It's just the sounds of the birds waking up, crunching of the leaves under your feet. It's very, very peaceful. Very peaceful. And every now and then you get a woodpecker. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So in continuing with the theme of looking for characters, <laughs> these are characters. I look at them. Uh, I'm struggling, struggling with these. I can't get to an elevated enough position on the angles that I like to be able to cut the sky out. It's glaringly bad. <laughs> I really like this one here. Let me show you. Zoom in a bit. So this fella here, I've got to think about a sweeping branch. But unfortunately, I can't do it without getting that sky in. I was thinking of getting him tighter in, in a vertical composition, but no, I can't make it work. And that's the thing, just because it's there doesn't mean it's always going to work. I get some glorious light coming through as well now as well. Right, I need to keep hunting. <laughs> Take advantage whilst I've got soft light and before it becomes harsh light. So, <laughs> I didn't get a chance to vlog that, that was too fleeting. But this little section of valley was just lighting up. The sun was coming through and hitting these side walls. I mean, you've got this mossy tree here on the uh, banks of the river, and then this golden tree here. It's not, not my typical type of scene. Normally I'll just go for a strong subject, but that was, well, it, it was just idyllic. <laughs> what, what can I say? Moss covered trees, river, side light on a mountain.
So I find another magnificent little specimen of a tree, clearly been here for a long time. Again, covered in that nice luminescent moss. Oh, it just stands out so well. You can slightly underexpose and that moss just pops. It's beautiful. And what I love about this, again, we're going with arching branches. So you've got the main trunk coming up and then from the right top, you've got a branch that comes down in. And then you've got these two fork end branches that have come down to the ground. I don't think they're fallen, they might be. I'll have to get closer to have a look. But really like this. I even like the chaotic mess of the forest. It kind of adds to it and it tells the story. Those beautiful boulders that are leading in from the bottom left, fantastic. And it kind of leads you up to the tree and then over and arcs around. I like that. Another wizened old character in the woods, just like me. Oh, yes. So I ventured into the woodland a little bit. Sun's coming up a bit more, so I figured if I can get inside and get that side light coming in before it gets too high, that would be fantastic. And I wanted to capture what I consider a stereotypical Scottish woodland with all these wonderful, great big straight pines. And this scene here, it kind of funnels you down to the end there where you've got some moss covered trees out in the light that act like a diffuser. So we're being funneled down by this row of trees, we're being funneled down by this row of trees, and we've got an anchor there on the bottom corner where the stump is. I think this is beautiful. And I'm getting more like David Bellamy every day. Wow, we grows in the undergrowth. Check that out for an idyllic scene. Okay, it's not the woodland scene, but it is through the woods. A little Espend River winding its way through, full of rocks, surrounded by trees. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster for the last 36 hours. We started off with magnificent highs with the most blazing sunset I've seen at the Lone Tree on Loch Lomond. And then yesterday, Probably just the anticlimax, but I couldn't get my eye in and find a picture. Not one that I liked. It wasn't the best of days really for it. It was more of a woodland day to be honest, so I think I should have just stuck with that in the first place. And then this morning, I'll come out and I've had such a peaceful, relaxing time. <sighs> and I think that frame of mind sets you up for the photography, okay. I don't think I've got any world-class beaters today, but yeah, I think I've got my eye back in. Well, I'm looking forward to the next move. Somewhere in Scotland, I can assure you, I'll catch you guys in the next one.